An Overland Park family spent two years planning a trip to Disney World, only to find out they won't get to go. The group of nearly 40 family members was supposed to fly to Orlando tomorrow. Yeah, the park announced yesterday it will close for two weeks. 41 Actions reporter Emma James tells us how they felt hearing the news. It was just a this can't be true moment. Thursday night, Celia Thompson got the text turn her family had been dreading. Their trip to Disney World was over before it started. To have it literally taken away from you the day before you're supposed to leave was just, um, it was just so disappointing. Thompson, her husband, and their two daughters, a six-year-old and a two-year-old, were part of a group of nearly 40 other family members, all looking forward to the trip for two years. To make it extra special for her little ones, Thompson handmade outfits for her daughters, each day with a different theme, starting with their flight. So they could wear these on the plane and um, get excited about their travel. Thompson took off work Friday to pack. Instead, she's making calls to airlines, trips to the grocery store, and trying to figure out what comes next. We have $2,400 wrapped up in travel that needs to be used within the year. And with two little kids, um, using that seems kind of unlikely. She says Disney will refund their tickets within the next six months. With the trip off the table, it's a hard snap back to reality. Her new focus, the uncertainty around school closures. I have a full-time job, so homeschooling my child is not really a possibility for me at this point. She says it wasn't easy to tell her girls they won't get to go to Disney World, but it's better to be safe than sorry. We've cried this morning and and trying to keep that in perspective too. I mean, this is a much bigger issue than this trip, than anybody's trip. In Overland Park, Emma James, 41 Action News.